So one of the practical considerations that you should take into account when working with Geiger counters is the so-called dead time, in which you cannot make any measurement, cannot detect one particle, and that happens after you measure the first particle. So if you look at the signal in your detector, as a function of time. So you measure the first particle, you get a pulse, and there is a time window here where you cannot detect a second particle. So here there is no detection. And then you can measure second particle here, and then you can measure more particles, and the signal grows. So in this time here, the signal is fully recovered. And you can measure the dead time from here. From peak to peak, you can estimate tau here, oh, sorry, tau, the dead time. So you see how we can do this using our oscilloscope. So let's go there. Okay, so we have a cable here, an output cable that you can connect to your oscilloscope. And right now I don't see any counts. So let me increase the voltage in the detector. So I can select, for example, can come here, set up, HV settings, and we have to work within the plateau region. So let's say 900 volts, okay. Uh, the sample is there. I can, let me increase the time here. So I can increase it, let's say 200 seconds, so I can, I can see the number of counts here in the controller. So, okay, now it's running. Um, so, so now I see something here. And I can see that the signal is inverted and I see many pulses. So the first thing I would do is invert these because I prefer to work with the signal up. And I can move this down, so I will see it better. Okay, I, let me change the time division here, so I get fewer pulses in the screen. Uh, let me adjust the trigger. And this is a random event, so it's hard to get the trigger and position in one point. So ideally, we should, if the number of counts was very high, I could do a single shot measurement. So I could stop, you know, run and stop, and I could see several peaks here. But the number of counts, or the rate, the radio, uh, radioactive rate is very low, so I cannot see more than one pulse. So there is a trick to do it in some oscilloscopes. We can we can accumulate signals in the screen. So let's see how we can do this. Let me run, because I want to accumulate these pulses. So if I display here, there is this option. So if I click display here, there is an option to accumulate. And then I can see many pulses. So let me change the time window, because then it will be even easier to see. So you can see that the first pulse, there is an uncertainty here because this is a random event. So the trigger is not working well, but there is a time here where you don't see any count. And here you see more counts. So what I will do, I will stop this and I will take the average position here. So this is a rough estimate. So if I stop here, I can try to measure the distance here between this region here and this region. So we can find our cursors right here. 
and you can select our source. Let's select channel one because we're connecting in channel one and let's select vertical. So this is the time cursor. So if I select here where I have this full bar and this, da this dashed bar, 